Good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening, as the case may be. I'm your old friend, Professor D.C. Weiss. Something very dark is about to happen here in Anderson. Get ready for Electric City Lights Out. You see, Anderson is about to go totally dark for 2 minutes and 34 seconds at precisely 2.37.50 p.m. Why will this occur, you may ask? It's a total solar eclipse and Anderson is right in the rare area of totality. What is a total solar eclipse, you ask? A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. You see, the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, but it is also 400 times farther away. So when the moon passes in front of the sun, they appear to be the same size. Interesting, yes? The shadow cast from the moon onto the Earth will cause darkness-like conditions. Birds may roost, and the temperature may drop up to 15 degrees. Eerie, but oh so awe-inspiring. This is an occurrence so rare that the last time a total eclipse could be seen from the U.S. was 1979. So what significance does this phenomenon have to science? Take it from my old colleague, Albert Einstein. His theory of general relativity was confirmed during a solar eclipse on May 29, 1919. That eclipse has been deemed as probably the most significant eclipse in the history of science. So who knows what significant discoveries this eclipse will bring. Oh, and let me share with you some tips from my teammates at NASA. These aren't just hints, but imperatives for safe eclipse viewing. The only safe way to look directly at the uneclipsed or partially eclipsed sun is through special purpose solar filters such as eclipse glasses. To date, four manufacturers have certified that their eclipse glasses meet international standards for such products. Homemade filters or ordinary sunglasses, even dark ones, are not safe for looking at the sun. Always inspect your solar filter before use. If scratched or damaged, Discard it. Always supervise children using solar filters. Stand still and cover your eyes with your eclipse glasses or solar viewer before looking up at the bright sun. After glancing at the sun, turn away and remove your filter. Do not remove it while looking at the sun. Do not look at the uneclipsed or partially eclipsed sun through an unfiltered camera, telescope, binoculars, or other optical devices. Similarly, do not look at the sun through a camera, a telescope, binoculars, or any other optical device while using your eclipse glasses or handheld solar viewer. And one more thing, the top of the parking garage is not an approved viewing site due to liability issues. See more tips on eclipse safety websites. And remember, do not look at the sun with unprotected eyes for the entire event. And now that I've piqued your interest and warned you not to look, here are some special things that Anderson is doing to celebrate this special event with our friends from far and wide. Electric City Lights Out. Lights Out Festival on Federal Street on Sunday, August the 20th from 5.30 to 7.30. Prelude in the Park, Sunday, August 20th at 7.30, where you can join special guests who will summon the eclipse with drum beats. And of course, the main event, August 21st from 1 to 3 p.m. Suggested viewing areas for the eclipse in the city of Anderson, the Anderson Recreation Center Field. Bring a chair and a picnic. We'll have musical entertainment. And of course, Carolina Wren Park, prime site for viewing downtown. Bring your family or take a break from work. Those of us who live here are lucky. We live in a prime area for viewing this very special event which won't be seen again for many decades. And my sources tell me that we will have visitors, eclipse chasers, they call themselves, from all over the world. So I'm counting on you to roll out the welcome mat for our visitors and this very dark event. Oh, don't forget, safety first.